Hey there, Excel fans. We've all used Control plus F at some point to search through data in Excel, right? But today, I'm going to show you a cool alternative that will not only make your life easier, but also impress your boss. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a search bar to your Excel worksheet that can search through your data and instantly return all matching results. Sounds great? Let's jump right in. Why use a search bar instead of Control plus F? Imagine you have a huge sales dataset with thousands of rows, and you need to quickly find information about a specific sales representative. Instead of using the Find tool to search for a name and then manually cycle through all the matches, wouldn't it be awesome if you could just type in a name and instantly see all the results? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do by inserting a search bar right into our worksheet. The first thing we need to do is insert a text box where we can type our search queries. Here's how to do it. Go to the Developer tab in Excel. If you don't see it, no worries. Right-click anywhere on the ribbon and select Customize the ribbon. In the list that appears, check the box for Developer and hit OK. Once you have the Developer tab, click on Insert, then select Text Box. Click and drag to place the text box anywhere you'd like on your worksheet. This will be your search bar. Awesome. Now that we have the search box, let's make it functional. To make our search bar work, we need to link it to a cell in the worksheet. Here's how. Right-click the text box and choose Properties. In the Properties window, find the option Linked Cell and type the cell reference where you'd like the search text to go. I recommend using a cell behind the text box, like J2, to keep things clean and avoid confusion. Close the Properties window. Now anything you type in the search bar will be stored in that cell. Nice and easy. Once done, exit Design Mode by clicking on the Design Mode button in the Developer tab. Now that our search bar is set up, let's make it actually search the data using Excel's filter function. Click on a blank cell where you want the search results to appear. Enter the following formula. I will leave a link in the description below so you can copy and pass this code into your own Excel spreadsheet. Let's break it down. The search function looks for the text you enter in the search bar within the representative column and returns the position of a match or an error if no match is found. The isNumber function converts the search results into true or false values, which the filter function uses to determine which rows to return. The filter function displays all rows where there's a match and shows none if there are no results. Now for the fun part, let's try it out. Type Mike into the search bar and boom. You'll see all the rows with representatives named Mike. Enter Smith to find all reps with the last name Smith. Try MMA to pull up all sales records related to MMA. Pretty cool, right? This search bar instantly shows results without you having to click through each entry manually. And that's it. Now you'll never have to struggle with Control plus F again. Just type and let Excel do the work for you. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome Excel tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.